Hey guys, are you looking for a new tattoo machine? CNC sent me the S1. It's a brushless motor, direct drive, 3.5 millimeter, and it's pretty strong too. We should check it out though first right here on the floaty channel. But before we begin, don't forget, hit that like button to support our channel. Thank you. Let's do it. Here it is, the S1. Let's take a look. S1 in my lap. Some interesting specs here. One of the things to look at is the 1400 milliamp battery. That is a very good battery capacity. I noticed they claim over here uh, between four to seven working hours about based on your working voltage as you're as you're going along there you might change change your voltage that might change your number of working hours a little bit um, but all in all four to seven hours that's really great we are 6 to 12 volts uh, for our output range so that's cool very cool stuff let's take a look at this thing that's enough manuel all right the CNC S1. Here it is. It connects. It's magnetic. If you're not doing magnets, you're not you're not doing machines. You know, that's all I'm saying. Magnets are great. They pop on and off. Bah. So that's a battery right there. And it's so versatile. Look at this. I love this. I need these in machines. The S1 has an RCA connection too, so I can hook it up to my power supply. All right, so let's check out this battery again. Very cool, they've got this uh, different color scheme here. We've got like this dark gray, it's like a gunmetal gray with black, pretty cool, gotta say. It's color scheme, points. All right, battery's on, we're at eight volts. See what it sounds like. Be quiet. We have letters here, S and L. I think this is to jump from the shading to the lining setting, which you can change the presets for. Uh, right now it's at, S is at 7.5 volts and uh, the lining jumps to eight volts, but that is two preset buttons basically right there on the side for you to do with as you please that are very, uh, they stick out a lot, very tactile, easy to press. Let's also check how the voltage here works. Oh yeah, 0.1 increments. I like that. Cool. Nice. Sounds cool. Looks cool. Let's see how the weight distribution is. They definitely made sure to put that extra um, kind of grip weight in the middle here, uh, a little more towards the front of the machine, more towards the needle uh, as the needle will be on this side. So you uh, will have the weight more towards your, your client, more towards uh, your piece. Um, that's what we want. We don't want the weight to pull us back away. We want that extra help also to make our lines punch here. Um, so I definitely like things weighted more at the tip and it looks like this S1 has that going on. It's very, it's a pretty thick machine. Take a look at that. It's about the size of a quarter, maybe bigger, a little like this diameter looks like the size of a quarter. So yeah, pretty good size machine. This middle part is definitely the, the heaviest portion of the machine. That's where you change your needle depth. Okay. To a try needle. All right, there it is. The S1 with our floaty grip. We're going to try this police cartridge. It's a three round liner in a 12 gauge or a standard gauge.
Okay, we're at eight bolts here. Feeling really good. Let's make sure these lines are getting in there. The stencil's been in there for years now, I feel like, so should not wipe off on me. The longer you keep your stencils on the silicone, the longer they'll last. And then you can bleach them off. So eight volts getting in, no problem. Uh, good stability, good control, not doing anything too straight yet. Just kind of feeling it out. It's really penetrating quickly here. I think I could probably even come down a little bit. Let's try 7.3 volts here. A little bit slower. Definitely still have good stability. Can feel a little bit of vibration, but with my floaty grip, it actually doesn't bother me at all. It's super quiet. Your clients will appreciate if you have a quieter machine for sure. But nothing against loud machines. I like loud machines too. I'm just saying, if you're looking for a quieter machine, this one's definitely quiet. like it's getting in no problem maybe even a little better so I turned it down so definitely powerful noticing the power in this machine noticing the stability of course I'm using my awesome police needles as well from CNC which are super stable. I've been using them in my shop for a long time now, past six months or so, and they've been working awesome. I've gone back to them on multiple occasions. Just give me back that police needle. I need that back. Thank you. So thank you guys for making a cool needle. And it's a pretty cool machine too. I'll work a little faster so I'm gonna turn this puppy up try this line here without moving anything. Yeah. yeah, the line looks good. Looks pretty stable. Not too much wobble. I'm not seeing any artificial wobble in the line from excessive uh, vibration nothing like that actually rather stable especially for three round liner which is sometimes a little hard to keep steady it's so small Can I look through the camera as I do this next line? Because <laughs> the camera's in the way. Let's see. I don't recommend this. <laughs> <Kind of. laughs> More or less. 
truth be told, I went back and forth a little bit. Just edit that part out. You don't need to show that. We don't need to talk about that. It's excessive. It's excessive. Filming. Okay, guys, I just want to show you this three round liner a little closer. I'm at 7.5 volts. Shading. Okay, yeah, so definitely wonderful, amazing control with this three row liner. Now you can see, even without a stencil or anything, I was able to draw just a freehand, really nice straight line. Um, not a whole lot of wobble, not a whole lot of vibration. Um, that's a three round liner and a 12 gauge. Uh, the whip shade, I did at a seven. I might come down a little bit to get the effect I want on that. So come. take another look at that. We like to whip shade with our three round liner, don't we? Very cool. Nice dot pattern there, looking good. Let's try out the nine round liner. Okay, there is the nine round liner. I'm gonna up the voltage a little bit because it is a larger needle. So there it is at eight volts. Might go up a little more. Let's try 8.5. It's a pretty big needle. Let's start at 8.5 volts. Really nice control. All right, yeah, so eight and a half, 8.5, whatever you want to call it. 8.5 volts right there, looking really nice. Got my line, my squiggle in my circle. It's looking good. Let's try out another needle. Here we are now, we have a flat mag. This is a standard 17. Really nice fit there, fleece needle. Going well, makes sense, CNC. Nice clicky needle depth on this machine. Needle depth control is very tactile. I'm at eight volts. So I'm feeling a little resistance. It's edging anyway. There we go. 
cut right through at 8.3 volts. Would not recommend doing this to someone <laughs> unless you have like a purpose. things I like to do with the mag uh, is try to draw a straight line on the side see how steady I can do that it feels nice and steady with this machine cutting right through no problem again here going wide with the mag looking at the lines uh, seeing how steady everything looks how much vibration you can see sometimes in the lining very little is seen here uh, looks really really good so uh, let's try a curved mag this one's going to be a 10 gauge This is the 19 curve mag in the 10 gauge. I'm at uh, 7.5 volts. I'm going to do a little shading here. It's a pretty big mag, so don't expect me to keep it in the lines here. Go over here. There we go. I want you guys to see the patterning. Yeah, beautiful, nice light shade there. Uh, the 3.5 millimeter stroke is going to give you that versatility for shading um, and lining with this machine. So you can do a little bit of both. Sometimes you need one machine for lining, one for shading, but it seems like this one is a nice marriage between the two. So pretty impressed, CNC. We're going to shade a little bit more here. I just want to get some gradients here going. darker areas here. Let's see if we can get it black with this 10 gauge. Yeah, impressive control with the shading. I really like this machine. This 3.5 millimeter stroke is making it very nice for shading, um, but also good for lining so that it's versatile in that way as well. This is definitely my favorite machine so far from CNC. Yeah, good control. It's good. Shader's great. I like the shader a lot, actually. And it lines. Look at the control. It's good. It's a decent machine for sure. All right. So that completes my test on the silicone. The S1 is obviously a great machine. If you take a look at the silicone we have before us, you can see we've done a great test because we've tested the stability with our three round liner. We've tested the power with our nine round liner. We've looked at the patterning with our mags as we glide through on our side, looking at how those individual needles are actually interacting with the silicone. And we've also tried to make the silicone black. And this is with the 10 gauge as well. So all of that is passing my test for this machine. It should pass your test too, I think. Okay guys, CNC has definitely outdone themselves with this brushless motor, this direct drive, and the power of this thing. Thank you, CNC, we really appreciate it. This thing is a professional machine and it's nearly $400. Don't forget to get yours today. Follow the link in the description below. And don't forget to support our channel by pressing that like button and subscribe for more in the future. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Bye.